Louisville, 20. And UCF, 14. This was from the uh, from Friday night. And, look, UCF was great at running the football. And they were not good at throwing the football. And they continued to throw the football. This this drives me nuts when coaches do, like, UCF fans are not exactly enamored with the Gus bus <laughs> right now. But if if you look at this screen here, the EPA per rush, 0.24 for UCF. That's 100th percentile. That is as good as it gets. And when they dropped back, they were in the zero percentile, as in the worst that you could possibly get. Negative 0.55 per drop back. Now, let's take a look at what they did here. Production. You had 38 passes, 53%, to 34 rushes for UCF. It's mind-blowing. Why on earth you would continue to not run the football? Like, you have something that is working, and you overthink it to death. That just, I, I, I could not figure out what they were doing on Friday night. Uh, props, let's talk about the team that actually won for a minute. Props to Louisville. Malik Cunningham, 14 out of 29, passing 195 yards. He had 17 rushes for 121 yards. Tyon Evans, of course, the Tennessee transfer, 19 carries for 75 yards and one touchdown. It, Louisville looked like a better team than they did in week one, obviously. But they ain't that much better. And I, part of this feels like UCF just beat themselves because there were opportunities there. And UCF did not take advantage of it. Uh, John Rice, John Reese, John Rice, Plumley, whatever it is. How about this? Plumley. 16 out of 34 passing for 131 yards and one interception. But as far as running the football goes, uh, 37 attempts, 206 yards, two touchdowns. That's 5.6 yards per carry. They they were able to run at a ridiculous rate. Like Plumley, 17 carries, 83 yards. He, he averaged almost five yards carry himself. Like, Bowser was pretty good. Richard, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense as to why they would continue to do what they did. And yet, they did. And they lost. And just a ridiculous, ridiculous thing. And there are people that are not exactly thrilled with the Gus Bus down there right now. Uh, but this is what it's like with Gus Malzahn. He's going to run some kooky stuff. And it's going to be nuts. And it's going to be crazy. And you're not going to know exactly what to expect from him. But it'll be weird. It'll be weird. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.